Yeah. Okay. You got it. Yeah. Talk to you later. Bye. Sorry about. Sorry. Hello, contemps. Hi, right. What do you got? One week? Start next week? Great. All right. Yeah, I'll give you a call later on today. All right. You got it. We'll see you. Yeah. Bye. Sorry about that. But as you can see, I'm pretty busy around here. So, uh, Jerry Cog, is it? Yes. Well, I see that you've got, well, many skills that we could use in a lot of offices around here. Uh, tell me, are you interested in working temporarily over a long period of time? Well, I thought a temporary agency would provide me with a good opportunity to work at different areas before I decide what I want to do permanently. <laughs> I have a friend who got an excellent regular job from working temporary. Well, I think we could definitely use you. Uh, how's your availability? Any day's fine. Good, good. Tell me, Jerry, do you like to uh, work? Oh, yes. I've always been a hard worker. Sort of a workaholic, you might say. As a matter of fact, if you have any weekend assignments, I'd be glad to take them. Good. You're just the sort of person we're looking for, Jerry. You're hired. Is he dead? Yes, quite dead. God, I was nervous. I was afraid I'd miss and ruin our wallpaper. Don't get squeamish now. Rondo, begin. Clepto, rigato, in my ronde, spirianto. Your peg, idiota, subirpati, tremendos. Hey, 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 nothing's happening. Let me finish. Let me finish, huh? Who's the voodoo master here, anyway? <clears throat> Mendex flip. What do you want, break? Mendex flagrant peeps, stay and I get up on a refundo. It worked. It worked. We got our first song. All right, all right. Quiet, quiet, quiet. I must instruct him. All right, now, listen. I am your master. You are my slave. No, no, our slave. Yeah, our slave. All right. All right, now listen to me. From now on, you'll be totally dedicated to working for the Consolidated Thames Company. You'll care not for money or lunch breaks or vacations or sick pay. You live to work. Work. All right, now listen. There's one rule you must always keep, and that is never eat salt. Why? When a zombie eats salt, the spell is broken and he really dies. So you must never eat salt. It uh, may be necessary for you to eat food in front of other people so as not to raise suspicion, but you must never eat salt. Uh, report back to this office at the end of every work day to receive new instructions. Then you will rest in our basement downstairs. You will move out of your present place of residence, sell everything you own, and give the money to us. Do you understand? Yes, master. I will work hard. I will excel. I will be a winner. Hi, Ray. Yeah. I got a person for you. A very good, reliable worker. He'll be there tomorrow morning. Hey, any time, pal. Okay. You get it. See you later. Bye. Gentlemen, we're going to be rich. Work. <laughs>
Hey, don't you ever take lunch? You've been here two days and I never see you eat. I don't eat unless it's absolutely necessary. Well, if you've latched on to some great new diet, let me in on it, will you? Yes, it's a special diet. What do you have to do? The principle is very simple, but now I must work. Finish this. I guess I'm one of those rare people who like paperwork. Catch you later. Well, I hate to see you starve to death, you know. We temps have to look out for each other. Ha 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 ha. Here, have the rest of my crackers. No, thank you. I am not hungry. Oh, they're good. They get cheddar cheese on them. No. Good, huh? Some people think they're too salty, but I love them. Hey, what's the matter? Are you all right? Are you okay in there? Are you all right? Yes? Lindsay Shannon? Yes? Lieutenant hands up, please. Here's my search warrant. Hey, what is this? Search for what? You can't do this. What are you looking for? Wait. What? Uh, okay. Let's go. But I... Okay, Ellen, here it is. Here's the... What's going on? This is city property. Don't forget to return it. Why don't you go home and read? You want to press charges? Oh, no, that's all right. Elton, are you crazy? What are you doing to me? I'm sorry. I didn't think this would happen. I just mentioned to him in passing today that there were some people who overdue library books. The next thing I know, he was looking through my files. I thought all he would do was call people. That's what I get for being literate. Let's see. You owe forty-seven seventy-five. That cop scared me half to death. I thought he was going to arrest me for murder. Murder? Yeah. Some guy at work today dropped dead right in front of me. Can I pay in installments? Drop dead? Yeah, I think... Never mind. No, what? You can tell me. Well, somehow I feel like I killed him. You killed somebody? I gave him a cracker and he croaked. What's the matter? Is something wrong? Excuse me, gentlemen, are you taking that book out? No. No, no, we're not. Well, no, are we? no. no, we're not taking the book out at all. We're gonna, we'll leave something behind, but we're not gonna take it away. Well, that means we're not leaving anyone here. Any, anything, anything here. Well, I'm afraid we can't let you take anything out unless we issue you a library card. Good policy, I like yeah. it. Yes, well, hey, if we ever get the urge to read again, we'll come racing right back, right back, right back here. Now that we know where all the books are. <laughs> Great idea, this place. <laughs> Mrs. Pond, why don't you come on in with me? Uh, Karen, you know what? Jeez, I think I left my lights on in my car again. You want to run out and uh, check on them for me? Turn them off for me? Oh, sure. There you go, all right. Okay, so, you, want, you like the word? That's what I'm here okay, for. Okay, all right. Let's go through. You're the first person we have from Contents. They must be failing you. Yes, what do you want me to do? Well, you'll be doing what Lacey is. Rather dull, I'm afraid, but these things must be done. I'll have Lacey show you exactly what to do. Lacey? Yes, Liz. Lacey, this is Miss Pond from Contents. She'll help you with the mailing. Hi, I'm Lacey. What do I do? Oh, real exciting stuff. You just take these pamphlets and stuff them in the envelopes and make a nice neat pile. Then they go down to the mailroom to be sealed and stamped. I see. Mm -hmm. 
you're the second person I've met from Contemps in the past few days. I'm with office pinch hitters. I love to work. Oh, well, I love money. Guess I have to work to get it. <laughs> Boy, that other guy from Contemps, he just died. It was really scary. I was with him. He had this heart attack or something. Then two guys from your place came and took him away. They wouldn't let us call the hospital or anything. They were really weird. I would appreciate it if you would be quiet. I'm trying to concentrate on my work. I intend to do a good job, so they want me back again. Catch you later. I tell you, Larry, it's been really weird. Watch it, Larry. Oh, Jesus, what a slog. You want coffee? Yeah, you got it. Put the criticism. Look at this place. You are such a slog. Yeah, you are nosy. That's your virtue. You want some? Too salty. Mm. Damn good, though. So what do you care about these people you work with? I mean, you're only a temp. You're there a week, a day. Yuck, all that sugar isn't good for you, Larry. It's not sugar. It's chem sweet. It's great. Even the cockroaches love it. <laughs> when are you going to get a job? Or is this apartment the site of the new town? Give me Dump. a break, will you? Well, maybe if you made an effort to clean up this place, the seagulls will stop circling the building. Where is my bag? I swear, your clothes jump on my bag the minute I put it down. Bye, Dad. Have a nice day. Bring me some ice cream when you get home. Clean this place up, will you? I forget the color of your carpet. Bye now. Always nice to see you leave. Kill. Kill. Me. Destroy. Must kill. Not my fault. Too much TV? Kill. Kill. Good morning. I'm on my way to work. Are you on your way to work? Yes. Yes. I have this irresistible, uncontrollable desire to work. Work. What do you do for a living? I freelance. And it's time for me to punch in. Of course. Now, I truly regret that I am going to kill you. If that's your ambition in life, I'd be happy to help you. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> Anything else I can help you with? Have a good day. I, I don't understand. This always used to work. See? Excuse me, Dorothy. Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. I'll finish this up quickly and be ready for a new assignment. But you don't look well. I must work. Perhaps you should take the day off. Get some rest. Go to the emergency ward. Of course, we can't pay you any sick pay. I'm staying till I finish the job. Oh, well, I can finish the job, Dorothy. Besides, you'll get the letters all bloody. Lacey is right, Dorothy. I must work. Lacey, get contents on the phone. We've got to get her out of here. And cancel that pizza I ordered. Do you think they suspect anything? Man, not a thing. Who would believe that she was actually a zombie? I'm a temporary zombie. Well, what do we do with her now? Best just to get rid of her. We'll do the same thing with her that we did with Mr. Cog. We'll dispose of her in a public place. Without any identification on her, it's going to be a police problem, not ours. Good thinking. Then all they can connect with us is that we employed her. Where will I be working next? The graveyard shift. Rondo, pull over to the first restaurant you see. Put out your tongue. Quick, hand me that salt. Hello. 
Would you like to see the menu? No. No. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we wouldn't like to see a menu. What would you like? Ice water. Ice water. And you'd like ice water, too, I suppose? Yeah, that sounds good to me. And what would you like, madam? I'd like to work here. You would? Oh, that's great. We're so desperate for help, Mr. Powell. This woman wants to work here. Excellent. I'll get you a W-4 form. Here's your uniform. You can start right away. Agnes will show you the ropes. Great to have you with us. Come with me, and I'll introduce you to the cook. She'll be with you in a minute. Not your hand. Now eat that salt. Hey, come on, let's get going. Hey, are you okay? Sand? God damn it, that means I've got to work a double shift again. Uh, ah, uh, Mr. Peon, why don't you go ahead on in? Uh, Karen, I, uh, I think I left the radio on in my car. Uh, do you want to go out and check it for me? Turn oh, it off. Sure. There you go. Okay. Remember, you must obey all our instructions without fail. Do you understand? I understand. Work. Must work. And one other thing you must remember. Never taste salt. Do you understand? Never taste salt. Never taste salt. How about chocolate? Some things never die. I couldn't help but notice you before, but would you be interested in getting together sometime? I don't mean to be blunt, but I'd really like to go to work with you. Go to work? Yes. Perhaps we could spend the evening doing a little filing or word processing, if you know what I mean. Just as long as we work really hard. Sounds like fun. Great. Have your answering machine call my answering machine. Bye. Hi, do you mind if I sit with you? Not at all. Hi, my name's Lacey. I'm Leon. Nice day to be working, isn't it? Well, maybe. On any nice day, I myself would rather not be working. Ooh, hot. You don't like to work? Well, we all have to, don't we? To pay the bills. We have to work to live. I live to work. A workaholic, huh? You sure I'm not bugging you? No, everything is fine. I was just computing how much money I could save for the company this year if I took no holidays or vacation. That's really admirable, I guess. I understand your attempt to... Yes, I am. I haven't been at it too long. It's all right, I guess, but it gets kind of lonely, you know? You're, you're never in one place long enough to make friends, and I like to talk to people, you know, it makes a day go by faster. But I suppose the opposite is true, too. If, if you hate the people you're working with, you know you won't have to work with them long. <laughs> I understand totally. Speaking for myself, I find work is its own reward. 
Do you work for Contemps? Yes, I work for Contemps. Everyone should work for Contemps. Contemps is the best company in the world. The benefits are fabulous, the salary is competitive, and I love my assignments. I had a funny feeling you work for them. I guess I'll be going to town. I'm really sorry. Doesn't that burn you? What? I just spilled scalding coffee on your hand. Did you? Excellent. See you back at the office. <laughs> I am awake, right? This isn't some crazy dream. Oh, I'm definitely awake. What's with these people? So you boil this guy's hand, and then you uh, hit him in the head with a filing cabinet. I tell you, Larry, this is the third person I've met from Contemps, and they're all the same. They don't eat, they don't seem to feel pain, and boy, do they love to work. So you're telling me they're robots? Well, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they're being test marketed in this area. Yeah, did you notice that they have big wind-up keys in their back? Oh, shut up. You'll never believe anything I tell you anyway. Oh, wait a minute, Big Mouth. You're so damn smart. Why don't you come for lunch with me tomorrow? We'll sit with this guy and I'll show you what I mean. No, I'm not going to become part of your personal Twilight Zone episodes. What a crummy brother you are. Oh, come on. I'll even buy you lunch. All right, all right. Good. Come over to the cafeteria at 12. I'll try and sit with him. Hi, Lacey. Larry, what a surprise. Sit down. Uh, Leon, this is my brother, Larry. Pleased to meet you. Hi, Leon. How you doing? Well, um, are you a temp like Lacey? Yes, I work for Contemps, the best temporary agency in the universe. Do you work? Me? No. Not if I can help it. I, I'm unemployed at the moment. You don't like to work? No. I think 98% of most jobs are either boring or stupid, so I try to avoid them. Actually, I think the work ethic was invented by employers to try to make people believe they held no value in life unless they worked. What kind of a demented pervert are you? <laughs> That's pretty strong language there, fella. <laughs> stupid, boring work is the backbone of civilization. Where would we be if we depended on people like you? Nothing would get done. People wouldn't be making money for their employers. And wonderful companies like Contemps would be in dire straits. Yeah, um, I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> there is nothing humorous about working. Well, you've certainly inspired me. Uh, I'm going to go out today and, and, and get a job and, and, and become a useful member of society. Go to Contemps. They need as much help as possible. Your life will take on a whole new meaning. So, expert, what about it? Oh, damn if I know. Uh, maybe the guy's uh, an amputee, you know, artificial limb? Artificial head, too? I hit him with a steel drawer. And that woman I told you about, she looked like she got caught in a food well, What do you want me to do about it? I don't know. Somebody should do something. Oh, there's got to be a rational explanation for all this. If I had the nerve, I'd go over to this contemps place myself and see what's what. Well, I care about it. It's none of our business, is it? Where's your curiosity? It doesn't concern us. They may be some gang of criminals or psychos or something. You think they should be running around free? Look, who are you? Are you Captain America? Are you making the world safe for bureaucracy? All right, I admit, it's pretty strange. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm the one who needs a job, right? I'll go down there tomorrow for an interview, and you'll see that there's nothing wrong with them. And the worst that can come out of it is I'll get a job. Well, Larry, you've got a very impressive resume here. Though I'm a, a little surprised that you've come to a temporary agency. Well, I thought I needed a change. Mm -hmm. You've uh, written here that you're a brain surgeon. Yeah, that's right. Aren't you uh, affiliated with any hospital? Well, I was, but they wanted to transfer me to the West Coast. Uh, so I resigned. I prefer East Coast brains. Surely with your qualifications, you could have gone anywhere else. Well, I thought of opening up my own walk-in brain surgery clinic... But I couldn't raise the capital, so I thought I might do some freelance brain surgery with your outfit. Oh, uh, I see. All right, well, tell you, we'd be very glad to have you aboard, Larry. Karen, I hate to keep doing this to you, but 
I think I left my engine running in the car. Tell you what, why don't you run out, turn it off for me. Oh, sure. Okay, there you go. This is a mess. I must clean it completely and utterly. It's about time, but tell me what happened. I'm dying to know. Nothing happened. It's a perfectly reputable company. As a matter of fact, I've taken a job with them. I start tomorrow. Doing what? Where? At St. Regis Hospital. File clerk? No, brain surgeon. Brain surgeon? You told them you were a brain surgeon? Are you out of your mind? There is nothing a person cannot do if he's willing to work hard. I'll make up for my lack of practical knowledge with enthusiasm and determination to do a good job. Larry, is this a joke? Are you putting me on or what? I wouldn't joke about work. I better be going now. See you later. Would you like to help me? I intend to paint the entire apartment before the night is over. We'll have lots of fun. You know I can't stand the smell of paint. Lacey, you should join Contemps. Quit the agency you work for now and come join us at Contemps. Put some real meaning into your life. Work doesn't have to be a full letter word. Sure, Larry. I'll see them tomorrow. Excellent. Now I must get back to work. Hello. Hi, do you have an appointment? Uh, no, not yet. I was just thinking about it. Uh, what kind of qualifications are they looking for? Oh, just a willingness to work. No special skill. Well, what kind of people are they to work for? Hmm. Well, you're putting me in an awkward position. <laughs> oh, come on. You can level with me. Well, I've met some of their employees. They were pretty strange. Well, they come out that way. What do you mean? <laughs> well, I wouldn't tell you this, but I intend on giving my notice today, so I guess it doesn't matter. But if I were you, I'd go somewhere else. What do you mean? There's something really strange going on around here. I don't exactly know what it is, but I've heard what sounded like a gun go off in there. The gun? Yeah, well, at least that's what it sounded like. See, the people that come in here aren't weird to begin with. It's when they come out of that office that they start to act strangely. Strange how? Kind of spooky. Smiling and pleasant, but it's like they're not human anymore. It's hard to explain. No, I know exactly what you're talking about. I've met a few of them already. Why are you here? Are you a cop? Oh, no, no. It's, it's just that my brother was in yesterday, and now he's not himself at all. Well, I don't want to know what's going on around here. Oh, well, thanks for telling me all this. I don't know what I'm going to do about it, but thanks anyway. Good luck. Karen, would you like to come down to the office, please? I want to discuss a raise for the fine work you're doing here. Sure. Who is it? It's Larry. Larry. Is something wrong? What do you want at this hour? Couldn't sleep. Do you have any work for me to do? What? Want me to wax the floor? Vacuum the rug? 
I'll scrub the tile in the bathroom. I'll take the lint out of the washing machine. You came here at this hour because you want to do housework? Of course. I wouldn't bother you if it wasn't important. Uh, bleach your socks, ca catalog your recipes. I'll rotate your tires. You go and sit down. I'll get us a drink. Nothing for me. Well, I'll have some tea. Larry, what happened at Contemps? They hired me. Well, did they do anything to you? Why would they do anything to me? Well, what happened when you went there? What are you eating? Mm. Your favorite. You want some? No. So what did they say to you? They read to my resume and found out I was a brain surgeon. And then I told him I wanted the freelance, and then he said I was hired, and he shot me. He shot you? Those chips... good? Great. He shot you? What the hell are you talking about? He shot me. See? Maybe I'll try uh, just one potato chip. Uh, we've got to get you to a doctor right away. I'm, I'm going to go get changed. You stay right there. Come on, let's go. Scott is completely baffled, Miss Shannon. The body's undergone extensive autopsy. He should have died immediately after the gunshot wound. But he lived for three days afterwards. Now, I don't want you to say any more about this until we've completed our investigation. We've got two more homicides under similar circumstances. You mean people who should have been dead but were still walking around? I won't, I won't say any more. I'm sure we'll find some sensible explanation for it. But, but we have two unidentified corpses, one found in a library and one found in a diner. So far, we can't find any common link between them. I can. Hi, Lacey. Gee, I'm awful sorry about your brother. Oh, thanks. I understand you had a little excitement here, too. We had a dead guy in here all day, and I didn't know it. I thought he was reading, and he turned out to be dead. I thought it was funny that he didn't turn the pages or anything. I just thought he was a slow reader. Well, in a way, that's why I'm here. Do you have any books on the supernatural? Um, are you looking for a general study or something specific? Specific. Zombies. Zombies? I don't think we have a book just on them. You may have to look through several. Here's some more. On this page. Zombies have no free will of their own and must obey the instructions of their master. The only known way to break the curse is for the zombie to taste salt. Upon doing so, the spell ends and zombie returns to true death. Sometimes, a rival voodoo master can turn a zombie against its master. Taste salt. Thanks, Eldon. That's just what I need. You taking a night class in voodoo? Uh, no. I figure the next zombie I date, I can make him eat salt and get rid of him. Get it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love salt. Um, you want to go out and have salt with me sometime? Maybe later. I've got a lot of work to do. See ya. Oh. Bye! Shh. Oh, shush yourself, it's my library. Hi, it's me again. Hello there. You've come to fill out an application? No, no, I'm so glad you're still here. My brother was sort of murdered, and I think this place had something to do with it. How is a person sort of murdered? Well, you said yourself you heard gunshots. I know this sounds crazy, but I think these guys have found a way of turning people into zombies. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. And forget anything I told you before. I was in a bad mood that day. I've come to realize how truly wonderful and inspiring it is to work here. I really think you should work here, too. Uh, it's, so I don't suppose you'd consider going with me to the police and telling them everything you know? I only know you couldn't find better employers anywhere. Perhaps I was mistaken. I guess I'll be running along now. Ah, new applicant. Come inside, please. Oh, oh no, I, 
I walked into the wrong office. I'm so sorry. Oh, but you mustn't leave until you hear about our new benefit program. Uh, my father, the attorney general, will be wondering where I am. He's waiting right outside in the car with these three huge bodyguards. Oh, nonsense. This will be short and painless. Come inside. <laughs> Ah, uh, a new applicant. No, no, I'm not really. I, I just want to go home. Nonsense. You really want to work for us, doesn't she, Rondo? Oh, sure, boss. Who wouldn't? You seem somewhat ill at ease. Are you frightened of us? Why should I be? Your brother wasn't frightened of us. My brother's dead. Uh, we prefer to consider him retired. Drop the pretense, Miss Shannon. What is your business with us? I know what's been going on here. And so do we. A good business. Our labor is cheap. And they never complain or get tired. Or breathe. Hey, she's a wiseacre, boss. I hate wiseacres. You want I should mess her up a little bit? No, Rondo. You want I should bounce her around the room a little bit? No, Rondo. You want I should sing to her? No, Rondo, we won't resort to that yet. Why, I bet you have a nice voice. Men have set their ears on fire rather than listen to Rondo sing. Tell you what. You let me go, and, and I won't tell anybody that you turn people into zombies. <clears throat> I'm afraid we can't trust you. Don't you have a gun? Yeah, how come I don't have a gun? Because our budget doesn't allow for three guns. I think I should have a gun. I'm just as evil as the rest of you. Hey, you got those singing lessons last month. I didn't get those. It's not fair. All right, all right. Next month, we'll throw in tap dancing lessons. So, let me get this ridiculous story straight. Your brother is a zombie, and other people you know are zombies, too. Lock her up. Your story is absurd. Absurd. Lock her up. Throw away the key. It's true. There's zombies out there. I've seen them, heard them, worked with them. There's no such thing as zombies. <laughs> I've never met one. Lock her up. Throw away the key. Bread and water. Why are you wasting our time with this <laughs> silly story? <laughs> it's not silly, I tell you. It's true. I know it sounds insane, but I can prove it. Stuff and nonsense. Lock her up. Throw away the key. Bread and water. Take away your birthday. Won't anybody take me seriously? We're all in danger here. Why don't you get out of here before we arrest you on some trumped-up charge? Lock her up. No TV until you learn how to behave in front of policemen. Do I look like somebody would make up a story like that? Somebody's got to believe me. Police will never believe me, and those goons will be after me now. I'm doing the right thing, saving myself. To hell with everyone else. It's the American way. Hi, Lacey. You left your books at the library, and I thought you wanted to take them out, so I took the liberty of bringing them over. Oh, thanks, but you can take them back. I don't need them. You going on a trip? One way. You're leaving town forever? How come? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. It's because of zombies. What do you know about zombies? Well, you were looking them up in the library. That's right, Eldon. I'm running away from zombies. But these aren't ordinary zombies. No! These are zombies that have the work ethic instilled in them so deeply that they'll work until they literally rot away. A temp agency called Contemps has found a way of killing people and making them zombies. Great concept, huh? Employees that demand no salary and no benefits. The perfect company man. And they turned my brother into one. And now they know that I know and they want to kill me and... I'm getting the hell out of here. Now, do you believe any of this, or do you think I'm crazy? Which I am. Crazy. No one will believe me in a million years. You have nothing to fear from me. You can start a franchise for all I care. Just let me go, please. Please come with us. Things won't be nearly as unpleasant as you may think. We like you, Lacey. Don't we, Rhonda? Oh, yeah. I feel a song coming. 
Quellen. Did you hurt Eldon? No. He's merely unconscious. He didn't see us come in, thereby eliminating the need for killing him. Please come along. I, I guess I won't have to pack that. No hand grenades? Well, I'm tired of just shooting people. There are so many wonderful ways to kill someone. Look, we just want to kill her. We don't want to remodel her. Don't get carried away yet, Rondo. You guys, you, you, you frustrate my creativity. Rondo, we're all pretty sick and tired of your whining and complaining. Why can't I have a gun? Why don't we kill her a new way? I'm sorry. I, I guess I'm just having a midlife crisis. Hey, wait a minute. Look, look, look. She's gone again. That's twice now. Go get her, you fools. Oh, Everybody's fault. Every time. It's always my fault. It's you know, always my you're, fault. You're in trouble this time. Uh, I'm going to tell on you. <laughs> well, wait a minute, you man. I don't see any chairs that look like hers. Oh, my God. Go on. Go. Go! Oh no. Maybe there's another exit. Naughty, naughty. Let me kill her. Let me make her a zombie. Rondo, I'm afraid there's something I must point out to you. Oh, now, what'd you do that for? I want you both to get used to senseless violence. What are you talking about? Do you think I really intended for us to go on this way, making nickels and dimes from this temporary agency? Yeah. Don't you see the power that we have? Why, we could create a zombie army. An army of corpses dedicated to following our orders, no matter how silly they are. Why? It would only be a matter of time before we could control the world. Or at least the neighborhood. And you, my dear, could rule by my side as my wife. You're crazy. Just because a man is insane, people call him crazy. If you refuse to be mine, then you will be my zombie wife. Over my... Never mind. Thank you. Choose. I could be a zombie to marry you. You did it again! I never hit a woman. Kill her. She knows too much. Oh! Ah! Lacey. Those guys. Those guys took her from, uh... Oh. Oh. Contents, that's it. I gotta go help her. Yes, right away. Ow. Ah. But they might kill me. That would be worse than Lacey getting killed. But they might make me a zombie. That would be horrible, a zombie librarian. I might get to enjoy the Dewey Decimal System. What am I gonna do? The cops will think I'm crazy. The book. There's all sorts of spells in here. I know there's one about turning those zombies against their masters. Here it is. Oh, God. I need all these strange ingredients. I hope the stores are still open. Shoot her, Rondo. Well, how can I? You guys won't buy me a gun. Drago, quit toying around with her. We've got to kill her. Settle for a zombie bride. Listen to reason. No one on Earth is going to listen to me. I thought about going to the police before, but I realized that I'd be left right out of the building. I know it's no use. You guys are just too smart for me. She's right. I'm too smart for her. You want some more senseless violence? Shut up. Listen. If you're too crazy to do it, then I will. You shot him. Look, can I have his gun? You're next. Please, please don't shoot. I didn't want to do any of this. It was for the money. I needed the money so I could have the operation done to have my eyebrows separated. 
Oh, you can't shoot me when I've come this far. It ain't fair. It just ain't fair. Okay, that's all. Hey, uh, I just need some odds and ends. Are they in the aisles? No, I, maybe you have them up here. No, what are they? <clears throat> Two bat wings. Hair from a dwarf. Two dried night crawlers. Fingernail pairings from Siamese twins. Three eyes from a llama. Just the thing. Here you go. And you're lucky, too. It's the last one. Everything is in here? Yes, it's the party pack. Ooh, say, would you like some crushed onion and cricket dip to go with that? Uh, no, thanks. Since you refuse to become a willing spouse, I have no choice but to turn you into a zombie. Oh, great. We'll be a real fun couple at PTA meetings. Hmm, unfortunately, now that Rondo is dead, I'm going to need a new drummer. Why don't you hold auditions? You keep giving me lip and you're going to end up dead dead, you know what I mean? All right, I'll have to do it myself. Yeah. See, all I have to do is set fire to this stuff and say the incantation. I hope I have all the ingredients. Let's see, three eyes from a llama. All right, freeze! Lieutenant Hansup, what's wrong? We got a call at the station that you might be using a charcoal grill to perform voodoo rituals. That. It's a violation of recreational ordinance number 34 slash 675 and punishable by a $50 fine or 10 days in jail. But I'm not performing a voodoo ritual. I'm performing a, a private barbecue. See? Would you like one? Is that meat legally obtained? Of course. Then I'll have one. Rare. Great. Now what the hell do I do? Mendix flagrante tremido. Mm -hmm. And now, you will do everything I say. I don't think so. I forgot to kill you, didn't I? Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry, this, this is the first time I've had to do this solo. Well, I understand. it. It's quite a big responsibility being a dangerous psychotic. Well, thanks for, thanks for understanding. So, I guess you have to get going now, huh? No, um, this is my day off. I have a confession to make. There's no voodoo ordinance on the books. I, I saw you getting ready for a barbecue, and I... Well, suddenly it hit me. I, I don't have any friends. Nobody ever invites me to a barbecue. <laughs> Nobody likes me, and I, I don't know why. Oh, I had a dog once. You know, man's best friend and all that. I only had him for three days, and then he committed suicide. Lieutenant, I'm sorry. I had no idea. Hey, you finish your hamburger, and then we'll, we'll play a word game. How about that? I love word games. Great. You just repeat everything I say. Okay, let's see. Um, Mendez, Filiberto, Flebus. Mendez, Filiberto, Flebus. Honorictus tre imitatus edus. Honorictus tre imitatus edus. <laughs> Quorum quarto filament riundo tremido. Quorum quarto filament riundo tremido. Did, did I win? I hope so.
Hi, Ed. How was your R&R? &R? Real drag. Glad to get back to work. Hi, Larry. Nose back to the grindstone. Yeah. Quick, Karen. Store it. Store it. Yes. Oh, yes. That was great, Karen. Yes. Never have my words been so thoroughly processed. Let's say we go down to the beach together and count the grains of sand and log and file the information for future reference. Sounds like heaven. Oh. Nanka. Yes. Yes, Mr. Mango. Nice to talk to you again. Sure. Yeah, I can take down the information. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow. How long would the assignment be? Two weeks. Well, I have a very dependable person to send you. Lacey Shannon, yeah. Very dependable. I'll send her in. Goodbye. All right, listen. I'll, I'll be your wife without being dead first, okay? Are you happy now? Will you let me loose now? Well, I knew you'd come to your senses sooner or later. Who's that? Interruption. No, it, it can't be. What's wrong? Untie me. He's dead twice. Do you have any salt? Aren't you crazy enough yet? What is this, crazy level two? Revenge work time. Go away, you're fired! Larry! Any calls while I was gone? Revenge! Revenge! Kill! All right, okay, uh, you win. Weekend's off. I don't suppose that, uh, uh I, I didn't think so. Uh, tell you what, how about, uh, one, no, no, two weeks off every summer. Yeah. Sorry, we're taking the initiative. You're joining us. This is the era of the entrepreneur. Works. You're being counterproductive. Lacey, are they holding you against your will? Hunt the ropes. Anybody got a knife for them? Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. I'm for my soul. I'm leaving your knife on the chair, okay? Come on! Time to punch in. Consolidated cadavers, get ahead with the dead. Dorothy Pine, deceased, speaking. Yes. Yes? Uh, tomorrow is fine. Yes, thank you very much. Today's assignments are file clerk, mm -hmm. inventory, men's room attendant, <laughs> men's room attendant. Hello. I'm Ed Drago, and I'm calling for squeaky clean personal hygiene products. 
I'd like to take a minute of your time to explain our new line of... Hello, I'm Ed Drago, and I'm calling for squeaky clean personal hygiene products. I'd like to take... Hello, I'm Ed Drago, and I'd like to explain about our new line of When I was just a little lad, me father said to me, a man must work to earn his keep or a man he'll never be. So I became a working man, and now I can't go back to lying around the house all day. I love me aching back. Ah, work, work, work. work. A work in life for me, to hell with play, I'll spend me day at work, work, work. I toil all day, I toil all night, I'm raking in the dough. My friends tell me to rest a spell, I'm always on the go. I don't have time to spend me pay, so all my cash I keep. I'd like to earn much more, you know, too bad I have to sleep. Ah, work, work, work. A work in life for me, to hell with play, I'll spend me day at work, work, work. Ah, work, 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 a work in life for me, to hell with play, I'll spend me day at work, work, work. Come on, boys, let's work. Yeah. 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 Yeah.